Hey everybody, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance. My name is Bobby. I'm the Director of Physical Therapy and Research here at Par for Success. Hopefully I'm a familiar face for you YouTube fans out there. And today we're gonna talk about uh, off-season rehab, okay? Or really, how can we create a quick, simple off-season plan to help you get healthy, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna shout out is obviously here at Par for Success, we're all about assessing where you are so that we can build the best plan possible. So if you don't want me to ramble for the next five minutes and you'd rather learn exactly what you need to do, why don't you go to our website, that's parforsuccess.com. We even have a special page, you can type in slash YouTube and it'll take you right to the assessment that I'm briefly gonna talk about right now. So if you're done looking at my beautiful face and you wanna take that assessment, just go do that right now. I won't be offended by the short watch time on the video. What we wanna do is help you, the golfer that's watching this and might be struggling with some back pain or some wrist pain, whatever it is that you clicked on this video for, right? we wanna help you get the best plan possible. So if you still want me to talk about the plan, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we got our whiteboard here, and I wanna talk you through the variables that we look at to help someone get back healthy and have a successful spring and summer season, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three different sections, and we're gonna have three variables that we care about for each of those sections, all right? So a three by three matrix, if you will. So at the top, is going to be the three different ways uh, that we can do workouts okay so the first part is we're going to have a mobility workout so this is where the online assessment is going to shine it's going to take you through the areas that you struggle with as it relates to the four rotary centers in the golf swing i'd really recommend take the assessment and then link up with any member of our team so that we can actually grade you objectively through the assessment rather than you just doing it at home and thinking you passed. So the first area we're gonna look at is mobility. The second area we're gonna look at is power, all right? Now this is the second part of the assessment that we take people through, and it's gonna be power that specifically transfers to your golf swing. The last part, is going to be the swing itself okay that's for a lot of our people that come in-house to us and get on our 3d ground reaction force plates they get on the launch monitor the motion capture sensors and we can look at what's going well and what's going poorly in your golf swing and we can come up with a plan that gets your body in the right positions to improve those so we stop having these pain points during our wonderful beautiful golf season now, when we look at all three of these things, we need to take three factors into account. The first is gonna be what we call volume, okay? Generally speaking, if we're doing a gym exercise, we can think of volume as how many sets and reps did I do? Did I do three sets of five? Did I do three sets of 10? Did I do 10 sets of three? I got all these options that are gonna give me a volume. If we think about the golf swing, volume might be, did I swing 10 nine irons or did I swing 100 nine irons, right? When we're talking about rehab and getting out of pain and getting healthy again, it's super important to be tracking our volume. Now, the only thing is mobility work, right? Volume might be, oh, I worked on my hip mobility for 30 seconds. That's great, but that might not move the needle a whole bunch for some of you that are really tight, failing the hip assessment really badly, right? If, spoiler alert, if you do the hip assessment and you pick your foot up and you immediately cramp, we're probably gonna need a lot of volume in the mobility section of your workouts. Now, the second part that we need to look at is intensity. All right, for some of y'all that are in the gym, this makes a lot of sense, right? If I'm doing a squat, and let's say the best squat in my life was 225 pounds. Well, if I do 225 pounds, that would be 100% intensity. That'd be the most intensity I can go through. If I only squatted 100 pounds, that would be less than 50% intensity. So it might not really be enough to move the needle. 
okay? If we think about the golf swing itself, intensity might be the difference between pitching and chipping around the green, taking a full seven iron swing, or ripping a driver as fast as I possibly can, all right? Uh, when it comes to mobility, your intensity is gonna be how hard are you pressing? What object are you using? Are you using a foam roller? Are you using a lacrosse ball? Are you using a golf ball? Are you using a physical therapist's thumb? All of those are gonna vary your intensity. Now the last part is because you're here on the rehab page, I'm gonna assume that you're in some type of pain, all right? Now, this is something we have to communicate very thoroughly with, and this is where I would say if you're in need of a rehab program, this is where we need to have a coach and a physical therapist who understands these variables to guarantee that you're gonna be successful, okay? When it comes to the golf swing, hopefully we're trying to go for zero pain, right? Now, sometimes that can't 100% happen. Sometimes we might get soreness. Sometimes we might get achiness. That's not really pain that's going to cause damage, so to speak. As the same thing where, okay, some of those mobility drills that we might give you, they're not gonna feel very comfortable, okay? If we're digging into that hip for the very first time to loosen it up, it's not gonna be comfortable at all, I guarantee you that. Now, if we're here in the gym, this is a wonderful place to make modifications to exercises. Maybe we're doing that squat like I mentioned, and maybe we need to be at about 75% intensity to make improvements, but that intensity causes pain. Well, that's where we need to modify our plan. We can come up with a different way to load a squat. We can come up with a whole different exercise that will still improve our golf specific power, get us moving in the right direction, but also most importantly, get you ready for a healthy, happy golf season. So this is a very brief overview of all the things that you need to do to create a successful off-season rehab program. Hopefully it gives you an idea of if you're doing your own programming, hey, this is the variable that I'm missing or that I haven't thought of, all right? If this seems like a lot to think about, then I'm gonna tell you the very first place you need to go to is the assessment. Woo. All right. At the very least, you can get your mobility assessed and see what you need to do in terms of improving that. And then you can go into our more advanced power and swing assessments to find a plan that's perfect for you to get you healthy this off season. So for the three of y'all that are probably still watching this video, you're probably already subscribers to our YouTube channel. So if you want to click the like button, I'd really appreciate that. If you're someone who's not a subscriber and you made it all the way through the video, hey, why don't you subscribe? Because there's a lot of great information on our YouTube channel that can help make sense of this big chart that I created today that will kind of give you some direction of what you need to do to have a successful off season that'll set you up for a great season when the sun starts shining a little longer. That's all I got for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you soon.